Fascinating Elements Explained. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewer's comments. Santos De La Rosa had this to say, This channel is awesome, and I love these videos. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much for commenting, Santos, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, back to our video. Hydrogen. Coincidentally, the first element on this list is also the first element on the periodic table. Hydrogen happens to be the lightest out of all the elements with an atomic weight of 1.008 Daltons. It also happens to be 75% of what the visible universe is made out of. That includes things such as water, table sugar, and hydrogen peroxide. The proper safety precautions have to be carried out when handling this element, as it can cause fires when it comes in contact with air, and can be an asphyxiant in its purest form. Number 12. Carbon Carbon is the sixth element on the periodic table, but did you know that it's also what makes up around 20% of the weight of all living organisms? So yeah, you're made out of the same material that's used to create diamonds and the graphite in pencils. Pretty neat, huh? Carbon is classified as the fourth most abundant element that is found in the universe by mass, after hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, respectively. Carbon may seem perfect, but it actually contributes to some of the most deadly toxins on Earth, such as tetrodotoxin, carbon monoxide, and lectin ricin. Number 11, helium. Ah, good old helium. Atomic number two. This is perhaps one of the most famous elements to exist, as it provides a great form of entertainment when inhaled. Even though you do sound pretty hilarious when you talk, it should be noted that inhaling helium doesn't pose a serious threat except when an excess amount of it is inhaled in a short period of time. This can cause you to suffocate as helium is an asphyxiant. You can also suffer from an air embolism that blocks the flow of blood to your brain. Death by helium is considered to be rare, but a handful of cases have been reported throughout the last 18 years. Number 10, Chlorine. This chemical element is the second lightest out of all the other halogens, and at room temperature, it appears at a yellow-greenish gas. When chlorine takes the form of chloride ions, it becomes a necessary aspect to all of the known species of life. However, elemental chlorine in high doses is known for being quite harmful and poisonous to all living organisms. Did you know that back in World War I, Chlorine gas was used by Germany as the first chemical warfare agent that was a gas? Number 9. Bromine When found at room temperature, bromine is in a liquid state with a reddish-brown color to it and a not-so-pleasant odor that accompanies it. Bromine is also the only liquid non-metallic element and must be carefully handled in order to ensure no accidents. Elemental bromine is classified as being toxic and it can cause severe chemical burns when in contact with human skin. The hazardous gas is also something that should not be inhaled as it can cause death in large amounts. Number 8. Arsenic Arsenic is one of the deadliest poisons to naturally occur and can cause quite the number of health problems if exposure is prolonged, such as heart disease, thickening of the skin, and cancer that will eventually lead to death. This is usually caused by people who come into contact with arsenic contaminated groundwaters, which affects dozens of people around the world. Traces of arsenic can be found in certain organisms such as goats, rats, and even humans as they are a small essential dietary element. Number 7. Potassium Potassium is the 19th element in the periodic table, and it's labeled as being one of the alkali metals. Potassium also plays a key role in helping our bodies function, and we can get our daily potassium requirements by eating fresh fruits and vegetables, most notably bananas. Believe it or not, we need potassium ions, as do all organisms with living cells, in order to have normal nerve transmission. Without them, we'd suffer from electrocardiogram cardiographic abnormalities, and an irregular heartbeat. Number 6. Aluminum, or as it's pronounced in other parts of the world, aluminium, is a chemical element located in the boron group, and it just so happens to be the third most abundant element that is found in the Earth's crust, after oxygen and silicon respectively. Aluminum is used in a plethora of common items that we use every day, such as utensils, packaging materials, and in street lamps. The element can pose a serious hazard to those who are allergic to it and must be careful when using products such as antacids and deodorant. Welders are prone to inhaling aluminum fumes and aluminum powder 
which can eventually cause pulmonary fibrosis. Number five, gallium. Gallium is one of the more fun and playful elements and has been featured in a lot of YouTube videos where its physical properties are shown off to the audience. When gallium is rested on top of a person's hand, it begins to melt within around 30 seconds of making contact. This is because it has a relatively low melting point at a temperature that is greater than 29.76 degrees Celsius or 85.57 degrees Fahrenheit. And as we all know, or should know, is that the human body's normal core temperature is usually 98.2 degrees when taken orally. So our body heat melts the gallium. It's also capable of dissolving aluminum. Number four, mercury. Also commonly known as quicksilver, this is the only metallic element that is capable of being at liquid at quote, standard conditions for pressure and temperature. The only other element that shares this similar property is bromine, except unlike mercury, bromine is a chemical element. Mercury is most commonly used in old fashioned thermometers that have been pretty much phased out of modern use, but it's also used in dental restorations and in fluorescent lighting. Mercury Mercury poisoning is a serious risk when handling this element, and it can be caused by inhalation, consuming, and coming in contact with certain forms such as methyl mercury. Number three, cesium. The chemical element with an atomic number of 55, cesium, happens to be an alkali metal, and it is one of only five elemental metals that takes on the physical properties of a liquid when it's at or near room temperature. Handling of this element must be done with great care as it's known for being pyrophoric. For those of you that don't know, anything that is pyrophoric just means that it will spontaneously catch fire when exposed to air that is at a temperature of or below 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Number two, curium. This element hails from the actinide series, and it's also so dangerous that it rarely ever gets produced here on Earth. See, curium was first discovered back in 1944 by scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, by smashing together plutonium or uranium with neutrons inside of a nuclear reactor. Curium is so immensely radioactive that it's able to glow in the dark, and as with anything radioactive, can cause cancers in the body and eventually lead to death. The element is actually named after Madame Marie Curie and her husband Pierre Curie, as they were both pioneers in the field of radioactivity. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments section below which one of these elements you think is the most interesting, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, plutonium. This radioactive chemical element happens to be one of the most if not deadliest elements to ever exist. Just like curium, plutonium was first created and isolated at the University of California, Berkeley, where a team of scientists led by Glenn T. Seaborg bombarded uranium in a 60-inch cyclotron. Labeled as PU on the periodic table, plutonium's abbreviated name was actually just a gag name that Seaborg used, and it happened to stick. Plutonium must be handled with extreme caution as the alpha, beta, and gamma radiation it releases as it decays can cause DNA damage, cancer, and death. 